Hi. Welcome to this video on the new alerting feature of Jasper Reports Server. Let's start with creating an alert. Alerting is only for reports with cross tabs or tables. Let's open a report and create an alert for it. Turn on alerts and hover over the numeric values of the report to create an alert. The values eligible for alert creation get a pink border. Once you click the numeric values, you can start creating your alert. Name the alert, set the condition, and enter the threshold. The Parameters tab is read-only. It shows any input controls that are applied to this report. For recurrence, enter the interval value. The default value is 1. Now set the time frame. Here, the default value is to schedule it every day. The start time can be now or a specific date and time. Enter the email address, subject, and message. Browse to choose the folder path in the repository content to send the report as a repository link. Or you can send the report as the file attachment in the notification mail body. You can change the default file name and the time zone. You can select one or more formats. The default value is PDF. The status panel shows the input values and validates them. You cannot save the alert until all values are successfully validated. Save your alert. After creating the alert, turn off alerts to enable the functionalities for other buttons. Now, let us look at how to view the alert list. You can view the list of all the alerts for this report by clicking on the View Alert List icon at the top of the screen. A blue dot indicates the presence of at least one alert. No blue dot means no alerts are set up for this report. Click here to view alert list. Here, you can see two alerts. You can edit an alert and save your changes. You can also delete any alert. As a super user, you can see all the alerts for all users on the view schedules and alerts tab. Here, you can see that there are five different alerts from SuperUser, Jasper Admin, and User. As a Jasper Admin, then you can only see alerts in your organization. As a user, a California user in this case, then you can only see your alerts. Alternatively, SuperUser and Jasper Admin can also see alerts in the Admin Console page of the Alerts tab. Now, let us look at some quick tips and tricks to customize your alerts. If you want to set an alert on specific KPIs, filter down values to add a summary field while creating a report. Use input controls to filter down your report and save it. Then set an alert on the summary field or subset of values for a column. With this trick, you can set separate alerts for the summary field and subset of values. You can also modify alerts for other input control values in the report. For more information, visit our documentation page. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.